Previously on Chicken Girls. You and your partner will be responsible for taking care of a baby. <gasps> Everyone keeps talking about Hamilton. Apparently he's hot now. Did Hamilton get hot? Harmony, what are you doing in here? Isn't she darling? You couldn't even help me take care of a stupid bag of flowers. You wouldn't even let me hold it. It's a girl! I've missed you. I just want you to leave me alone. Something wrong? I needed you, and you weren't there. I can't do this anymore. Let me get this straight. You and this guy, Drake, are... Over, totally over. TK. Are you guys texting? Texting? I can honestly say no to that. Okay, and this new guy, Ezra? I should just pretend we never met. Jeez, that guy, Ezra, sounds like a real jerk. Dear TK. Wine, breakfast! Be down in a sec. I thought you would have written back by now. Pancakes are getting cold. Okay, start without me. I heard that life moves at a slower pace down south, so maybe that's what you're doing? What's that? Nothing. I'm gonna be late for school. Just finishing up some homework. Does that have anything to do with the letter you sent to Texas the other day? No! <laughs> Pancake time, let's go, come on. We fly so high, we fly together, we fly together. We are a girl gang like birds of a feather. We fly so high, we fly together. We are a girl gang like birds of a feather. I told him, like, I can't do this half living together, half long distance thing anymore. Like, pick a lane. Good for you. You deserve better. Ugh, it's just men, you know? Oh, I know. Tell me about it. What? I guess Hammy's just different than other guys. Oh, honey, he's definitely different. <laughs> <laughs> See, I just don't get why we have to do this whole flower baby thing. Like, we're not in Little House on the Prairie. Like, why do we have to sew and stuff? Hey, that sounds like an interesting idea for the Out of Way Appeal. Can you give me 800 words? Just what I needed, more homework. Hey, you might enjoy it. Think about it. <laughs> Did you ever figure out what was going on with your mom the other day? My mom has been out late, a lot, and then constantly on her phone. I don't know, she's been really distant. Maybe she's dating someone now. Gross, I'm changing the subject. I know you have your own boy trouble, but can I vent for a sec? Go for it. Flash is a gamer, but he also works remotely for SUP. But still, he's constantly on his phone. Well, isn't he always like that? It's been worse lately. I have a weird feeling. <sighs> yeah, well, you don't have to take that. You laying down the law with Robbie has actually inspired me. You've come so far from your Henry days. Mom? What do you mean he's sick? Like, he has a flu? I don't understand. He seemed fine over the holidays. Mom, I'm gonna be late for class. Can we talk about this at home? I'm fine. I just... I need to get to class. It feels good to be home. Right, honey? I see you redecorated. I just thought I'd brighten the place up. I'm worried about you, Bertie. 
Are you going to be okay here alone when I have to go to work later? It's whatever. I'll be fine. Please. Honey. We need to get you out of this funk. I have a headache. And you're just making it worse. What are you doing here? Well, I got a school here now. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, are you following me now? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, you made it pretty clear that whatever happened between us was just for spring break. Maybe you're just reading into the thing. Okay, then maybe you should clarify. Should I? Wow, you really want to get the last word in, don't you? Yeah, I do. You needed to see me? Oh, Rhyme, please, yes, come in. I wanted to talk to you about the flower baby assignment. You have barely journaled. I've been really distracted. I've got a lot of other homework. Well, that's no excuse. Home ec is just as important as math or social studies. Is it, though? It kind of seems a little old-fashioned to me. Oh. I have a proposition for you, Rhyme. If you want to write an essay explaining why you disagree with the assignment, and if it appears that you put the hours in, then I will, I will reconsider your grade. Wow. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Russell. This meeting is now convened. I have an incredibly important announcement to make. Drum roll, please. You are looking at the new editor-in-chief of the Attaway Appeal. Okay, thought there was gonna be a bit more of a reaction, but if that's everyone, then... Room for one more. You a journalist? I used to write for the Millwood paper. I'm new to town, but I thought you could do with an extra reporter. Look, I don't know how I'll win Millwood, but here at Attaway, you have to earn your stripes. Take a seat, Cub, and we'll see if you're up for the job. Fash is short for fashion. Oh. Birdie, oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> Call me if you need anything. Do you want to fight me right now? Because I'll throw down. Oh, I'll throw down. Yeah, no, maybe, uh, just... Babe, chill. We're shopping for fun fash the cheap way. Billy, you'll cover the field hockey game. Aye, aye, sir. And that just leaves the drama club. Rooney, can you go down the hall and get a couple shots? Yeah, like that guy Drake. I can't keep track of every wannabe actor. <laughs> Such a doofus sometimes. That's Mr. Editor-in-Chief doofus to you. All right, everyone, let's get to work. Well, that's basically it. Next week, we'll be watching Phantom, so I'll see you guys next week. See ya. Hey, what's up? Uh, official out of appeal business. You mind if I take some photos for the paper? Sure thing. Great, uh, let's have you stand by the light. I meant to ask, how's your friend Birdie doing? Uh, yeah, she's good. She's actually getting out of rehab today. That's great. Seems like she got some great friends looking out for her. Okay, um, smile. Let's, um, go take a few in the hallway. Over this way a little. How's that? 
Just trying to find your light. You have really nice eyes. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Flash, can you put down your stupid phone for one second? It's important. What's up? Found it. Wow, Ryan, you really came through. I really don't have time for this right now. Well, I was just letting you know that I'll be out of your hair in no time. I talked to my mom and I'm gonna be studying for my GED and I'm gonna tour with her full time. Oh, wow. I mean, cool, whatever. Cool. You know, this isn't what I wanted. I wanted to stay here with you. We had that chance months ago. But some people just don't change. And I, I realize that now. I have to go. Do you guys have any idea what's going on? No clue. I hope she's okay. Hey, what's wrong? Whatever it is, we're here for you. My dad's really sick. I'm so sorry. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. My mom and I are moving in with him to help him with his treatment. You're leaving Attaway? I'm just going to Crown Lake, and I probably won't be there for long. I hope. I'll be back whenever I can to hang. I got us all something, and I was waiting for the right time to give it to you, but I guess this is it. Hold out your wrist. Take them off. What? Why? Come on, just do it. Since we're in high school now, I think it's time for an upgrade. <gasps> Kayla, these are amazing. Chicken Girls 2.0, we fly so high. <laughs> Except you won't be here. Next time on Chicken Girls. I have a new lease on life. Independent Ellie saying no. I am boycotting this class. I'm working on a cover story about the protest. Why would I do anything to help you? 